So this is going to be a little video about how we find the derivative of an exponential function. So to start off, let's say we want to calculate the derivative of f of x equals 2 to the x. Well, first thing we do is we set up our definition of the derivative. The limit is h goes to 0 of 2 to the x plus h minus 2 to the x all over h. Properties of exponents are going to allow us to split that up into 2 to the x times 2 to the h and actually factor that 2 to the x out. So that no longer depends on h. So we can pull that out of the limit. So our derivative is 2 to the x times whatever this limit is. As h goes to 0, 2 to the h minus 1 over h. Now, notice 2 to the x is exactly the function. So all exponential functions have themselves in there. So the big question is, what is this limit? Well, if we plug in 0, we get 2 to the 0, which is 1, minus 1, which is 0, over 0. So we have an indeterminate form. So that limit may exist. So we can evaluate it with a table. So let's see what happens as it gets really close to 0. If we do this, what we see is that it, they both seem to be approaching 0.693 from both directions. So this limit does exist. And it's about 0.693. So the derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x times 0.693. So it's 2 to the x times a constant. The question is, is we, can we gen find a general rule to always find that constant. So, let's think about this. If we all, what if it's a? What if it's a to the x, right? So let's think about doing the derivative of a to the x. Start off the exact same. So that the derivative is a to the x times this limit. Now we're just using a instead of 2. We still need to know what that is. Well, we know how to find those limits. So what we'll do is we'll set up a table. We know for 2 it was 0.693. For 3, it's 1.0986. These are all estimated, so on and so forth. So what you should do now is use your calculator to plot these points and take a look at what the function looks like. So pause the video at this point and go ahead and take a look at that function. And then when you're ready, come on back. So hopefully you noticed that graph was increasing and concave down. It turns out it's just the graph of ln of a. It's the natural log of the base. So actually that constant is just the ln of whatever the base is. So in each of these cases, the derivative of the exponential function is the exponential function times the limit of the natural log of the base. And that's how we get our rule.